Hello everybody and welcome to episode 2 of the Locker Room Struggles podcast. This episode's a little bit different but my name is Lucas and I'm only here with Ethan, Noah, and Jesus. Okay, and our first story of the day is coming from Ethan. Ethan, tell us about that. Hello homies, well, Windows 10 Xbox app now available to testers. So apparently Microsoft is allowing members to test Windows 10 on their Xbox in the latest January build. I prefer a PC. Well, I mean, how do you feel about the direction that Windows is going? I'm not sure. I mean, they changed so drastically from Windows 8 to Windows 7 and 8. I mean, I can't really... I don't know how I feel about it. I don't... I haven't really looked at Windows 10. I know someone who has it. Yeah, I know uh, Justin has it. He says it's really good, but like I don't know what it has in it. One of our friends has it, and he says that it's the exact same thing, except with a mix of Windows Seven in it. Well, they, I mean, I don't think it's the exact same thing because Microsoft fired like half of their staff just from Windows Eight to just develop Windows Ten. If you guys weren't aware of that. I, I just haven't been paying attention to that story. Yeah, I haven't been paying attention to yeah, uh, Microsoft one of those fired half of their staff. What? Did the, yeah. I would be. Well, no, did they, did they fired most of the Windows 8 team. Because Windows 8 was not good. We all agree on that. Well, it, I mean, it was, it was okay. Like, yeah, it, yeah, like it was okay. I mean, Windows 7 is still the ultimate. Right. We have so much hate on that. We we are. Please don't hate us. We're just giving that. No, 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 no. We're not gonna get hate on that. People know that Windows 8 is not the best. Microsoft <laughs> yeah, knows yeah. Windows 8 isn't the best. Why would they base Windows 10 directly off Windows 8? Yeah, exactly. Because they're Microsoft. I don't know. I mean. In my opinion, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I think Windows 8 is like more like. It's more towards like touchscreen devices. Or is that just me? Right. They're they're trying to blend like. Yeah. Uh, they're trying to merge different uh, platforms. Platforms together. Right. Like, and I don't like that. I want it. I want separate things. I want my PC experience and my mobile experience. I don't want it all one thing because. Yeah. Because it's no different. It's the point. I mean. Right. And talking about the multiple platforms being. Put into the exact same, putting being put into the same system. That brings us to our next topic, which is the HP's 3D scanning PC called the Sprout, and it's uh, they say that it's unlike anything HP has ever made. Now, this thing, I, I it's it basically it has a scanner on the bottom and the top, and it scans things in 3D and puts it onto your computer. It, what, uh, what's it used for? Uh, it's for pr- professional designers and other, like, uh, I guess, may- like, photo enthusiasts. That's what it says, photo enthusiasts. Mm-hmm. Dude, imagine what you could do with that crap. So in the commercial, what they do is they take this paper swan and they put it on the scanner and it scans it, puts it on the computer, it, um... It, it has a 3D rendering of it on the computer. The lady, like, takes it and colors it with a different, like, changes the color of it and then prints it out of a 3D printer. So, mm-hmm. so I, there... I guess that's what they're integrating it with, is a 3D printer. Let's yeah. See, I trust HP, because HP is like, I don't know, I prefer HP over many things. I'm but looking also, at... What? Also, also, what they have is, um, at the bottom where the desk is like your wooden desk or whatever you set your this pc on is a second touch screen which is what you put your thing to scan on right it it just acts as a second screen oh okay i'm looking at pictures this it looks like it's its own like interactive station thing because it shows an hp tablet connected to it Mm -hmm. that's i like that What? 
haven't really done much research about this, but it sounds pretty cool. I mean, three D printing is becoming a new thing nowadays. Looks like if they looks like if they keep going with this, there could be a lot of things that could come out of it. It could help people in many ways. You know, prosthetics. It could like replace machinery, land labor, and other things. Now. The thing that people are talking about this on here is the actual PC part is not touchscreen, but the part that goes on the desk is, and that's because people were the people were starting to get like I guess uh, not like they people were starting to get injuries from holding their arms up touching on a horizontal screen <laughs> or on a vertical screen, so they put it they put it laying flat. So that it's easier to. Yeah, it's like separate from. It. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. I see now. Okay, so what we're going to talk about next it is also 3D related is Microsoft's new HoloLens. With their virtual reality, their introduction into the virtual reality world. Microsoft has announced two brand new devices, the HoloLens and the Surface Hub, at their Windows 10 event. Okay, so this looks to be, it's like goggles that you put on your head, and unlike some, like the Oculus Rift or whatever, that's a full virtual world, you see, you see through it just like regular glasses, but it adds stuff to it. Like, in their videos... In the video on there, you can see people like playing games with it that are in the real world, and uh, it can be used to help with work. Like if you're not in the same place as somebody, like they can be showing you things in your like real world, and like you can see what they're showing you, like now, in are, real time. Are we aware? Do you know by some? I don't know. Do you know if the device has like, some limitations where it can project these images or does it just like project on any surface? Well, you know, not project, like, all face the, the model. Well, like, it's... In, um, in the picture, there's a picture of a guy playing Minecraft and he's just sitting in his living room right. and it kind of just goes onto everything. Yeah, yeah it's not actually, like, you, you know it's not actually projected, it's only seen by you in the goggles. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it it can go on anything. It like detects the surfaces of everything around you. Yeah, and you can interact with everything there. And yeah. Um Well, it seems pretty cool. I'm just wondering how it all works. I mean, would you you would have to have some sort of scanner on the front of the lens in order to be able to detect everything in your room and then be able to place everything on the screen accordingly. Oh, I'm trying to find it. It says it somewhere. I mean, technology, guys. It's now, advancing. Now, is this battery powered? Or okay, well, wait. Here we... It, it would have to be. Talking about Jesus's... Uh, Microsoft demonstrated HoloLens capabilities by designing a 3D model of a quadcopter in front of the audience at the Redmond event using Microsoft's new Holo Studio app. Um, oh, wait, here, here we go, here we go. On your limitations, Ethan, you can only run it on Windows 10. Okay, HoloLens is designed to operate as an entirely standalone device, no tethering to a PC or smartphone required. The CPU and GPU processors are supplemented by a third processor, the HPU, or Holographic Processing Unit. Sick, to okay. handle the intense da uh, gathering from the 18 onboard sensors. Now, do we know what kind of camera it holds to see um, uh, what, what, to I don't see know. It has. It says it has three layers of glass, with and it has like etching on them, and it like depicts it in between the layers of glass. It's really interesting. I'm just gonna say this can either this can be one of two things. It can either be like bull crap, like completely unreal. Like, like they can say it's going to be amazing, but it turns out to be crap. Like a lot of things. It probably is going to cost a lot of money. Yeah. Considering how it looks. Or it can be just what they're saying it is, and like you say, it's going to cost a freaking arm and a leg. Or one of the best pieces of technology we've seen on this. Arm and a leg, only about four thousand dollars. 
Right. On a black. I feel like <laughs> I feel like if this does come out though, it's gonna it's gonna have to connect to the computer. Like that's. It says they they're doing it tether free. No, it doesn't have to connect to anything. Like how are they gonna? But it can have capabilities to access. Yeah, you can, but it doesn't have to. Yeah. I feel like it'd be better with it. Could this be used as an Oculus, perhaps? Like, that, it it shows them playing games. I'm sure it can be used something similar. Like, can you like, tether it to like, your computer and play freaking a game like, as the Oculus can? Or not? I don't. I don't think that it has the. I don't think it can make a full virtual like scene around it. I think it just adds things. Um, Does it? Spencer has also appeared to suggest the Hololens would be the sole direction for the Xbox team, <sighs> and he would like to take the terms of the display peripherals, and when asked whether the HoloLens was Microsoft's take on the emergence of virtual reality devices, he said, for us, I think this is the area. He's, they're going to try to integrate it into gaming. Dude, if it, if it can make a full virtual scene, holy crap, this would be but amazing. In the amount of add-ons you will need for the HoloLens. I don't even care. That would be so cool. I'm not going to lie. If I was a millionaire, I'd probably buy this thing. Yeah. And... If it does turn out to be a hit, it will beat the crap out of Google Glass. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Uh, didn't Oculus come out with a plug-in where you could put um, a camera on top of it? Yes. Yeah, they did. I thought I thought I saw something like that. It'll like scan the area in front of you, and it'll make a 3D model of whatever you have in front. Of you. So oh, if you put it, the Oculus, like it with it on the Oculus, and you put your hands out in front of your face, it would make 3D models of your hands and you can interact with objects in the game. Oh, so awesome. So right. Awesome. There's been a few. I saw one that's really similar to this HoloLens thing where like, it, or like what you guys are talking about, like your hands being there and interacting with it. I've seen things like that, but they're freaking huge and have tons of wires and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so moving See, on. Uh, from this Jesus All right. so is there life on Mars new picture shows workmen fixing spacecraft on the red planet it says here that um, a shadowy figure that appears to be a guy in a spacesuit without a helmet to be working on one of the Mars rovers on Mars Pictures released by NASA were taken by the Mars Curiosity rover, which is currently sourcing the planet for some, scouring the planet for signs of life. But you know, con conspiracy theorists reckon that the workman appears to be fixing the multi-million-dollar craft. What do you guys think? That that definitely has to be real. Of course, it's on the internet, so it must be real. That line definitely wasn't said before. I think if they do find something, though, it, this is going to be, like, the beginning of a new <laughs> era, basically. Let's see. Now, continuing on with the whole spaceman on Mars thing, <laughs> conspiracy theorists claim that the Pentagon has an on-world military base on Mars with non-terrestrial officers controlling the U.S. through, oh gosh. I believe that aliens control every aspect of our lives. Apparently. Well, the, the conspiracy theorists also have proof that it's backed up by documents reporting are reportedly obtained by Gary McKinnon, a hacker who faced extradition of the U.S. in 2002. Uh, let's see. He says the new image is a more incredible is more incredible because the human does not appear to be wearing a helmet, and is not a good idea with the surface on Mars. Uh, this is well. E Ethan, what did you say about aliens? I'm pretty sure bench ladies are aliens. Definitely. You know, my mom was once an alien. Bro, my mom's a lunch lady. <laughs> Dude, 
That's really cool. You know, all that... Moms are friends. All that food they feed us, it's to fatten us up so they can harvest our bodies and eat us. Why do you think people get abducted? Lunch ladies. Anal probed. Okay, Noah. Or does he not do that no more? Last year, a former U.S. Marine claimed he spent 17 years of his career on Mars. <laughs> <laughs> Separately, a woman who said she was a former NASA employee claimed she saw humans on Mars 35 years ago. Mm. The lady known only as Jackie insisted she had seen suited men running on the red surface when she called up a U.S. radio station on the East Coast at 4 a.m. Curiosity rover since launched in November 2011 as part of a mission whose aim was to establish whether the region has ever offered conditions of microbial life. Oh well. But in all seriousness... Seriousness... It's... Are aliens real or not? I don't even know where to go with this. What do you guys think? Is there well, life on Mars? Well, has I there mean, ever been life on Mars? There's life somewhere on, on in this galaxy. In yeah. Mars, perhaps. I mean, I think there should be life. I mean, it could be like maybe like smaller life forms, but I, I, I would imagine there would be life on Mars. Yeah, that's what they said Curiosity looking for. Microbial life. <sighs> okay, guys. So, we need to end this up here soon. We've gone through four separate stories about the technological world. And do you guys have anything you want to say before we leave? Nothing, nothing, nothing appropriate. Just one thing. Yes. Alright, so, uh, to all you, guys, all you subscribers, uh, if you guys would like to hear us talk about any stories in particular, put them down in the comments. Please leave a like and... Please keep subscribing. Have a great day. Oh yes, have a great day. Or a night, wherever you are. Stay tuned for more episodes. Do you believe in aliens? <laughs>